I'm Gareth Dixon, I'm Vice Principal Finance and Resources at Craven College. So we offer a range of vocational qualifications across the Craven area, um, as well as uh, remote sites that we have at Leeds Bradford Airport and a specialist uh, high needs education centre in Ripon, known as Ripon Evolve. We've invested in a complete uh, desktop refresh for all of our student devices, um, which resulted in over 400 desktop positions being changed, uh, as well as issuing laptops uh, to all of our staff. This is something that the staff didn't have previously. Previously it was fixed desk positions, um, sharing of machines. Um, so now every staff member who needs one uh, has got a laptop or mobile device. I'm Tom Proudfoot. I'm the Deployment Services Manager for Apogee. The brief from Craven College, um, relationship started with a successful MPS rollout, then led on conversations based on that relationship around you know, managed IT services and the sort of pain points that they have in terms of supporting such rollouts and things like that. I think the, the main sort of concerns for the college would be staffing, you know, a small IT department to deploy circa, you know, nine, uh, 900 PCs or laptops would be, you know, quite consuming for them. Uh, my name is Paul Rylands and I'm the Head of Public Sector at Apogee. The education sector is, is obviously a significant part for us. And the way in which you support is, it's through the frameworks, number one, for a compliant route, but number two is to bring technology to the forefront to allow the education sector to develop their offering. What we mean by that is ensuring that, as we've seen during COVID, is that the education sector learn to teach in a different way. To do that, they've used technology. That technology we are bringing to the forefront, but not only supplying it, but providing services that allow it to continue when it's in situ. The equipment that we had uh, was on average seven years old. Um, as a consequence, we were suffering from poor performance, low satisfaction rates from our, our students, um, inefficiencies, some machines were taking up to 15, 20 minutes to load up each day. Um, and that just was resulting in a, a much, a, an ageing IT estate that heavily needed investment. So Apogee were provided with a brief um, of you know, what so, sort of solutions the college wanted to uh, achieve. Uh, we took that through the framework documents, um, went away, gave some better ideas in terms of streamlining the process, if you will. As part of the successful MPS rollout that was carried out by Apogee and the deployment services team, relationships were built. They seen sort of what we were made of, if you will, what we can do. Um, and that's led on to where we were, you know, having conversations around the aging IT equipment. It was something, you know, I think they knew needed to be done. I'd say it was largely uh, the senior management team and the um, IT manager. Uh, so Adrian Lawson, our IT manager, had, had long identified that this was a, a challenge that the, the college needed to face into. Um, and then with the support of the wider management team, we were able to devise what was an affordable solution for us. Um, and, and leasing was the most affordable option for us. Um, I must say that it's not, it wasn't achieved solely by us. Um, we saw growth in, in student numbers, which then provided us with the additional funding, which has allowed us to make this investment and provide a better service to our students. All the devices that we, um, we handed over to end users, be that students, uh, staff, have all been quite chuffed, I think. You know, uh, the initial reaction when, when, when people were coming for their, for their new equipment was it was going to be three years old and, you know, sort of cleaned up by IT. Um, I think they're all fairly shocked that there's such a big investment by the college. Uh, staff have been overwhelmed with the quality of the product, particularly after the um, underinvestment uh, that we'd experienced for many, many years. Um, as I mentioned earlier, seven years worth of seven year old equipment um, wasn't performing. Um, as a consequence, we've seen a significant reduction in the number of queries or tickets, as we call them, coming through our IT help desk in the region of 85% reduction uh, off the back of that. And from the, most importantly, the student side of things, we saw a 15% increase in student satisfaction with the equipment. Um, and this was whilst the rollout was happening. Um, so that was, it's now at 91% satisfaction with the equipment. All of the um, HP desktops, laptops, every mobile device is covered on an Apogee care pack for the duration of the contract. Um, the sort of benefit for that for Craven College especially is, you know, it removes the uh, ticketing system through their IT, frees them up for normal BAU work, 
Um, all that's managed through Apogee, through our help desk, um, and is automated as well on our portal. So what we see over the next five years is, is each individual area of education investing in technology, but for the benefits of their students and for the benefits of teaching education. We play a major part in that, in providing hardware, but the services to ensure that when that's in situ, it continues working to the levels that they expect and the levels of service that they require to make sure they can do their core job, which is educate 